Today on Tea Time, I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite insects, the butterfly. Did you know that butterflies are first born as caterpillars? They live in cocoons while they grow their brightly colored wings, and then they hatch out and they fly away. My favorite type of butterfly is the monarch butterfly. You can usually spot them outside because their wings are bright orange. The state of Arizona has the most different types of butterflies in the whole United States. They have 220 different kinds of butterflies. That's a big number. I also learned that butterflies eat nectar from flowers. They sip it with their tongue like a straw. <laughs> That's weird. Did you know butterflies can only see three different colors? Red, green, and yellow. I wonder what it would be like if I could only see three different colors. Well, next time you're outside, keep your eyes peeled for a beautiful butterfly. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bananas! I'm eating a banana. You know why? Because I'm a monkey. <laughs> You like my monkey mask? I got to go to the zoo last week and learned all about monkeys. They're amazing animals and they're really smart. I have some fun facts I wanna share with you. The first thing I learned about monkeys is that there's over 200 different kinds. Whoa, that's a lot. Too many to tell you about, so I thought I'd pick out my two favorites, the spider monkey and the emperor tamarind monkey. Now the spider monkey is like a trapeze artist. It spends most of its time swinging from limb to limb in the trees high above the jungle. They're really fast and they like to eat fruit like bananas, apples, and oranges. Mmm. <laughs> now the emperor tamarind monkey is so cute. It looks like it has a big beard and they like to live in groups too. Well, who wouldn't? I don't want to live by myself. How boring. Did you know that we used to have monkey astronauts? The first ever monkey astronaut was named Albert. On June 11th, 1948, Albert took off into space. Over 32 different monkeys have flown in the space program. That's incredible. There's a monkey species called the howler monkey. It's one of the loudest animals in the world. It howls at the beginning and end of every day. And you can hear its howl up to three miles away. That's really loud. Well, those are some of the interesting facts that I learned at the zoo. When you have time, check out your local zoo and see what animals you can learn about. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I think I'm gonna go have another banana. <laughs> Bananas! I was playing with my friend Zoe yesterday and she was telling me all about her favorite animal. Horses! I wanted to share some of the fun things I learned about horses with you. The first thing I learned is that there are about 75 million horses in the world, and no two horses look alike. That's a ton of horses. I also learned that horses only sleep two to three hours a day. Oh my, I like to sleep eight hours a day. Horses can also sleep laying down or standing up. That's so funny. I don't think I could sleep standing up. Boy horses and girl horses also have different names. A boy horse is called a colt and a girl horse is called a filly. They also have different names when they grow up and become adults. A male horse is called a stallion and a female horse is called a mare. Do you think that a horse's tail is just a tail? No way! Their tails are really important. They use it to keep warm and swat away bugs and flies. <laughs> Horses are herbivores. That's a big word. It means that they only eat plants, no meat. It's kind of like being a vegetarian. Horses are really strong animals and one of my favorites. What's your favorite animal? 
Oh, I love that animal too. Well, me and my horses are gonna go gallop away. Bye. Hi, bananas. Today on Tea Time, we're going to learn about ladybugs. Ladybugs are insects with wings. They have six legs, three on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you know that there's over 5,000 different types of ladybugs? They come in many different colors, including red, orange, yellow, black, brown, gray, and even pink. The most common ladybug is red with black spots. The number of spots tells you the type of ladybug it is. As ladybugs get older, their spots fade away, just like human hair turns gray when we get older. I'm gonna show you a ladybug and you count the number of spots. How many spots do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven spots on this ladybug. Let's try one more. How many spots do you see on this ladybug? One, two, three, four. There's four spots on this ladybug. There are boy ladybugs and girl ladybugs, but it's almost impossible to tell them apart. Isn't it funny that a boy is still called a ladybug? <laughs> girl ladybugs can lay up to a thousand eggs in its lifetime. That's 1,000 babies! Ladybugs like to live in gardens and forests and even in people's houses. <gasps> but don't be afraid. If you see a ladybug in your house, they're really friendly. They can't hurt you. You know what? I think I like ladybugs. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time on Tea Time. Bye! Ribbit, ribbit. Hello. <gasps> it worked. <laughs> Hi, bananas. I think I was mixing up the way animals talk with the way humans talk. I've been learning all the different sounds that animals make. Let's learn some together. The first animal sound I want to learn to make is a cat. Cats say, meow, meow. Meow. Good job, bananas. Can you make the sound of a frog? It goes ribbit, 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 ribbit. How about a duck? A duck says quack, 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 quack. <gasps> what about a doggy? Doggies say woof, woof. Sounds like Mr. George. <laughs> what animal makes this sound? Moo. Moo. That's right, it's a cow. Moo. That's the sound a cow makes. Let's try a few more. What about an owl? An owl says, hoot, hoot, hoot. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Good job. What about a snake? A snake says tss, tss, tss. 
Ooh, snakes are scary. <gasps> a little piggy says, oink, 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 oink. And a sheep says, ba, ba, ba. That's amazing, bananas. We just learned so many different animal sounds. I have a fun game we should play. I'll give you an animal and you make the sound. The first animal is a doggy. What sound does a doggy make? That's right, a doggy says, ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Good job, bananas. What about a snake? What sound does the snake make? Yeah, a snake says, See, it is scary. Let's try one more. What sound does a duck make? I can't hear you. That's right, a duck says quack, 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 quack. Good job, bananas. You guys are really good at this game. Now that you know all the different sounds that animals make, you can play this game with your friends or your brother and sister. It's so much fun. Thanks for learning with me today. Bye.